In recent years, Tesla has been making headlines with its groundbreaking technology and innovative products. The company has distributed the automotive industry with its electric cars and has revolutionized the way people think about transportation. However, Tesla is beginning to face significant competition from other car makers, and Elon Musk has finally responded with a new strategy. Join us as we dive into Musk's new strategy and why this is a critical turning point for the EV industry. Everything Elon Musk does seems to create drama, and that drama often casts a shadow on the electric automaker's success story. As the world slows down in anticipation of some market headwinds, Tesla found himself in a predicament. They were facing lower demand, slower sales, and a tumbling stock price. In response, Tesla has reduced the cost of its most popular models by up to 20% in the United States and Europe. This included a massive price cut of up to $13,000 on the Model 3 and the Model Y in the US. On top of the direct price cuts increasing sales, many Tesla models are now eligible for the new $7,500 federal tax credit for electric vehicles in the US. In some cases, this reduces the cost of some Tesla vehicles by as much as 30% compared to last year. This has caused a major shock to every other car maker because Tesla is hijacking demand and taking sales away from all of their competitors. Tesla has recently reported unprecedented demand across the board, and there's no surprise. Most brands have dealers that are constantly increasing prices above MSRP, but Tesla is dropping the price? If anybody was on the fence before, now they have a real reason to order. The price reductions come as major automakers are now introducing more electric vehicles, particularly at the lower price point of the market, undermining Tesla's overwhelming market domination. This is one of the main reasons for Tesla's aggressive price, supply issues that are gradually easing, and the new government incentives that are beginning to take effect. More generally, vehicle affordability is a significant concern for the auto industry right now. Manufacturers have been profiting greatly as a vehicle shortage drove up prices. Still, they are also aware that they are scaring away potential customers who cannot afford to pay $50,000 for a car. According to Jessica Caldwell, executive director of Insights at the car buying website Edmunds, the price cuts, which are aimed at protecting Tesla's market share, also reflect Tesla's transformation from a market anomaly to a mainstream automaker. By the end of 2022, the average new EV price was approximately $65,000, surpassing even the recently astronomical new pricing of internal combustion engines. The quantity of vehicles on the market is beginning to increase as supply chain issues start to get better, and analysts are now looking to see which automakers respond by lowering costs and vying for market share. According to Caldwell, Tesla was the only EV manufacturer in the US for a long time that produced a fantastic product with enough range and features to truly convert people over from ICE vehicles. By now, pretty much every car maker and EV startup offers a competitive electric car that has decent range, features, and looks great. So the product competitive advantage Tesla had is eroding. While Tesla's car lineup is more than competitive in those areas, it is one that's getting old. The Model S this year is now 10 years old, while the top-selling Model 3 is 6 years old. Additionally, aside from the long-delayed Cybertruck and Roadster, Tesla appears to have a limited number of known brand-new vehicles in the works. So, Tesla seems to be taking the bold step. And of course, they can, because unlike most other automakers, Tesla is actually already making a profit from selling electric vehicles. Another reason for the price reduction could be that Tesla is trying to follow a recent similar measure in China. As it competes with domestic automakers like BYD for EV supremacy, Tesla lowered its rates by as much as 13%. This is the third time in recent months that it has done so. The action in the United States was also timed with modifications to the EV tax credit made possible by the Inflation Reduction Act. That legislation provides tax incentives for electric vehicles and batteries made in North America. The sudden price cuts did little to appease investors, as Tesla shares fell nearly 3% in Friday's midday trading. The stock has lost more than 65% of its value since the beginning of last year, 
and now investors are worried that Tesla's sales decline will continue. Most people are also concerned about Elon Musk's erratic behavior and the distractions caused by his $44 billion purchase of Twitter. However, Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives claims Tesla is still in it for the long run. Ives wrote in a note that this is a clear shot across the bow at European automakers and U.S. stalwarts, GM and Ford, that Tesla is not going to play nice in the sandbox with an EV price war now underway. Margins will get hit on this, but we like this strategic poker move by Musk and Tesla. In the meantime, Tesla will have to contend with growing competition from other automakers both domestically and internationally. Total EV sales in the U.S. increased by approximately 65 percent from 2021 to last year, and only four from the 47 different electric vehicle models sold by automakers were Teslas. By 2025, S&P Global Mobility projects that there will be 159 different EV models available. And while EV sales as a whole are interesting, Tesla's market share in the U.S. is dropping. From 2018 through 2020, Tesla represented about 80% of the EV market. By 2021, that figure had sunk to 71%, and it has continued to decline, according to registration data gathered by S&P. Still, Tesla's U.S. sales increased by 40% last year, and S&P predicts that the trend will continue as the market for electric vehicles continuously grows. Even with U.S. tax subsidies, EVs are still more expensive than gas-powered cars, partly because batteries are so expensive. Also, rising loan rates and the cost of raw materials are keeping prices high for consumers that might have an impact on both Tesla's and its rival sales of electric vehicles. With Tesla's price cuts, its Model Y performance model, America's best-selling electric vehicle, formerly priced at nearly $70,000, now starts at just under $57,000. Also, the basic price of the Model Y Long Range, the least expensive model offered, has dropped by $13,000 to $52,990. Its effective price for qualified customers drops to $45,490 below the $55,000 price threshold needed to be eligible for the updated federal EV tax credit. That is far less than the national average for the cost of a new car. Before now, only the three-row Model Y qualified for the credit because it qualified for a higher price cap. Other models were also cut. The starting price for the Model 3 was reduced by $3,000 to $43,990, or $36,490 after the federal tax credit. This move has been met with both praise and criticism, as some argue that the price cuts are necessary to make electric cars more accessible while others argue that the price cuts are unsustainable and will eventually lead to financial losses for the company. There are also those who have lashed out, like Marianne Simmons, a self-professed Tesla fangirl who bought a white, high-performance Model Y in September for more than $77,000. Then she discovered that the manufacturer had cut prices in the early weeks of January 2023 and that she could have gotten the same vehicle today for $13,000 less. Ivan Drury, the director of insights for research website Edmunds.com, said that his move is a kick to the teeth for any existing Tesla owner. Drury claimed that the price reductions for new vehicles will automatically affect second-hand automobiles and could further reduce values. He claimed that since new vehicle customers prefer the fresh car fragrance, used car values could decrease even further. Meanwhile, Tesla owners in China have been protesting the price cutbacks on the street, claiming the decision has had a negative impact on their resale values. While it's unlikely that buyers in the US and Europe will go that far, there's a group of people that find themselves rather pleased with this new turn of events, Tesla's long-term investors. This is an age-old problem in the car business. Customers buy a car only to see a rebate offer that would have saved them a few thousand dollars. This time is even more unusual because Tesla's cutbacks are more significant than the typical refund, and dealer discounts are sometimes limited-time offers. Overall, the decision to reduce prices on Tesla vehicles is a risky move and one they will find hard to reverse if they need to in the future. However, the move will make electric vehicles more accessible to the masses and make it much harder for others to compete. What do you think about this news? 
Let us know in the comments section. If you've watched it until now, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.